Hi guys, Drew here from Prepared Camping and today we're making mead. As you'd expect for something they've been making for thousands of years, it's quite simple. You just add honey, water and yeast together, boom, you get mead. Now the ratio of honey to water will depend how strong it is. And I'm simply going to use one pot of honey, which is 340 grams, to one litre. Because this is a two litre bottle, I'll be using two. Now I've started by adding some water at the beginning because I don't want the honey to stick to the base of the bottle. Then I'll just simply add the honey. These squeezy bottles are brilliant for this. They might still be a little bit trapped in the end, but you can just add a little bit of hot water to it, give it a shake, and soon rinse it out. Now the most common ratio for mead is three pounds of honey to one gallon of water. And that works out as 1.36 kilos to 4.5 liters. Now these demijohns I'm using here are two liters. So that means I should be looking for roughly 604 grams of honey. And as they come in these 340 gram bottles, two of them means it'll be slightly stronger. But obviously that a lot of that depends on the yeast as well. It might top out earlier on, who knows. And of course, traditionally, lots of people would add different things like cloves, cinnamon, fruit of various sorts. So, you know, you can, you can really be quite creative with mead, but I'm just keeping this nice and simple. Now, our ancient ancestors, way back in the days before people could even read or write, they wouldn't have had to worry about adding yeast and things because they would have just used whole honeycombs that they would have had from their hives. And that would have had the natural yeasts on it. Now, I'm going to be adding some of the, the some modern dried yeast to it from Wilkinson's that has nutrients and things added into it. So I'm not too fussed about adding extra things to this, like tannins and such and such like that. I think this will ferment quite happily by itself. But as I said before, I want to use all of the honey, so I'm just going to rinse these bottles out quickly, and then we can move on to the next step. These old rosy bottles are great for doing small batches like this. You know, you pay five pounds for two litres of cider, and then after that, you've got a nice two litre glass container for doing all your little micro brewing in. Simply then get a 19 mil uh, rubber bung with a hole through it and an airlock. You can get those off of eBay for a pound, pound 50. And that means basically for one pound 50, you've got a nice little micro brewing setup. So the water I've been using so far here is boiled water that I've let cool for a few minutes. And it's probably about 40 or 50 degrees Celsius. And I'll just give it all a nice good shake together afterwards to, to combine it together to make what we call must. And then it'll be ready for pitching the yeast once it cools down. And we'll be helping that obviously by adding some cold water. Using warm water like this when you add the honey, heats the honey up as well so it's a lot easier to get it to combine when you shake it. So now I'm just topping this up to about just under two litres with some cold water and then I'll leave it until it gets to about 20 degrees Celsius so we can pitch the yeast. Now if you notice, this isn't as full as the two by the side here. That's because they've been going for a little while now in large containers I racked into these demijohns. This could be quite bubbly as it begins fermentation at the beginning, so I'm giving it that extra bit of headspace. So now that's cold down a bit, put some yeast and yeast nutrient into it. Doesn't have to be a full teaspoon. Try and get as much of it as you can inside without spreading it all over the counter. And again, Give it another good shake to get some oxygen into it and to mix all that together. By the next day you should see lots of little bubbles forming. This is CO2 telling you that the fermentation is taking place and you've made mead. 
This will stop after a few weeks, then you're ready to rack it into other containers and condition it. So thanks very much for watching guys, until next time, take care.